been a roller coaster season, Rick. Highs, lows, yings, yangs, ups, downs, you name it, you've had it this season. I wish I would have uh, had the patent on that roller coaster because I could have made a ton of money on that kind of ride. It, it was it was unbelievable. It was it was sky high to rock bottom low injuries, uh, playing well, playing bad, playing well, playing bad, playing well, winning, playing well, losing, and, and you know there was the games we didn't deserve to win. So. Uh, it, it was uh, it, it was it was the most unbelievable learning cur curve I've ever been involved in, and and to, we have learned a lot this season. And we will, you know, I'll be the first one to say we've made some mistakes. Uh, there were some real positives, and, and we'll do a lot better next year. Let's uh, take it as it came then, because the opening game defeat was 10-4 in Newcastle. Uh, and that would have led you to believe that, hey, we've got no chance of getting through to uh, the semi-final of the knockout cup, you know, through the group stages. How wrong you could be. Yeah, you went to Newcastle. I knew they were a big physical team, uh, you know, playoff champions last year. Uh, tough, physical, guys who can score. And we went into their building and we got annihilated and... It was, uh, I, I can remember one of the players turning to me in, in, after about seven, whatever it was, and saying to me, should you call a timeout? And I go, why? I said, I want to see what you guys can do. And, and you know what, after that game, you know, the guys, the next, we came back and we bounced back and, you know, won some tough games. And, and to be honest with you, the, the, probably the, the, the highlight, for me, one of the highlights of the year was we're in, in Edinburgh and I'm getting ready to pull the goalie. Uh, because we need to win to, to, to qualify, and a tie won't do us any good. And uh, I'm getting ready to pull the goalie. There's uh, 40 seconds left. The face-off's in our end, and I'm going, okay, as soon as we get the puck out, goalie come out. Uh, we, the puck drops, we go down, and we score. <laughs> you know, it was one of those magical moments that you don't really experience too much in sport. And it was, it was, one of, it was just, it, it just mind-boggling. I'm going, and I know the other coach is doing the same thing. He's going, should I pull the goalie or I shouldn't? But we're on the power play. And maybe he should have. <laughs> he didn't. Maybe that would have that extra guy out there would have would have kept the puck in their end, and they would have had a scoring chance. But at the end of the day, is uh, it was a great comeback, and a, and we got us into the semifinal of the cup. How big an achievement was that stepping up from EPL to Elite League and coming early in the season? How big a boost was it? It was a huge boost. It. Uh, it showed maybe that uh, we we did have the talent to 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 play on, on any given night in, in this in this league, and it uh, you know we had some very young players who never played at this level, and, and and they stepped it up and they played very well. The confidence was sky high. League form was good as well, going to places like Nottingham and Cardiff, going to places like Coventry, and coming away with wins, but. Your home form always was a problem. Can you put your finger on why that was? I mean, you know, normally you'd expect to win your home games and try and get something away from home. Why was it so different for your team? Why was it so different this time around to what you would have expected? Early in the season, it was teams really didn't know what to, to expect from us. Uh, they tried to open up, open up against us on the road, and we played very good team defense, and, and, and we won games. On, on sheer defense and, and great goaltending and and, and 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 the good power play, uh, I'm thinking here. I know what I want to say. And there was no expectations on the road. A very young team, and playing on the road was was easy for them because. Sometimes there's a lot of pressure playing at home, and, and they didn't feel any pressure on the road, and they played really relaxed, and they didn't make many mistakes, and they didn't force, and they didn't overcommit. They played the system, and we were very successful. On the other hand, we'd come home, and we'd, we couldn't stick to the game plan for 60 minutes, and we'd break down, and the breakdowns would be because we were too aggressive, and we made bad decisions. It's decisions we didn't make it on the road, but we made it home because... At, I can tell you right now, guys were trying to impress, you know, their mothers and their fathers and their girlfriends, and you know, we 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 made too many mistakes, and and also, 
teams played different on the road. They played a very defensive game, and we tried to open up against them, and, and the things we were doing to teams on the road, they were doing to us at home, and we, we just couldn't learn from it. Injuries played a key part, and I suppose uh, the injury to Kevin Young is one that you look back and think, had we had him, maybe, maybe things might have been a tad different. Yeah, sure, he was, he was a quality player. Uh, he was a gamer. He came every night to play, and he had some offensive skill. He was great defensively. He was good in the power play. And you know, when he was out in the power play, he made things happen, and he could kill penalties. He was an all-rounder, and you know, unfortunate uh, injury at a bad time of year, and it hurt us big time. Big time it did, and also something that hurt you was the fact that, and this is a, to a certain extent, being victims of your own success. Four of your players going to Great Britain under 20 duty at a crucial time just before Christmas. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, we, we, we put on a good display when they were away, but it took a lot of life out of the team when guys had to you know, play a lot of ice hockey in, in that period. And when they came back, you know, the guys who, who were here for those two weeks suffered for the next month because just they, they played so hard for so long and, and, and they just couldn't recover. They were tired players. And, of course, uh, there's always this um, clash of styles as well. Um, you're perhaps the only side in the league that had an all-Eastern European Ukrainian li line trying to mix and match that alongside of two and a half lines of British come Canadian style as well. Um, did ultimately that mean that um, the gelling process and you as a coach being able to mix and match and, and when injuries came along, throw guys into unexpected positions and unexpected lines, did that make it more hard for you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, it, it's tough, you know, you know, bringing guys from North America who, who've played one way and you get guys from the Eastern Europe who've played another way and then, and then trying to throw them together going, okay, well, you got to play like this and these are the rules, but, you know, the Canadian guy is more dump and chase and go to the net and the Europeans more, well, we don't want to give the puck away, we're going to hold on to it, you know, and, and, and the timing was all off and, and you, you can see just frustration on on both, you know, the, the Eastern Europeans and the Canadians, because at times they just had no idea wh which way to go. Back end of the back end of 2006 was successful for the Stingrays. I think it's fair to say the front end of 2007 wasn't. If you had your time back, would you make any different calls? Would you do things differently? No, you know what. <sighs> It's a tough question. You know, I think we made some changes. We brought in better hockey players. But they just didn't get the result I wanted. And, you know, at the end of the day, during the middle of the season, you're just trying to, if you're making a change, you're making a change to, to, to bring in, a, you know, a, a guy with better skill, better toughness, you know, somebody who could maybe do both. And, and what happened this year is that, you know, we brought him in and for some reason it just threw the balance out and, it, it, it went out of whack for a while, and then we got it back, and then, of course, you know, Miro got hurt, and then we were done. Let's talk about that then, because that was a crucial thing, wasn't it? Not just one injury to Miroslav Bielik, but two injuries. You had him out for the business end of the season when you were there or thereabouts for a playoff place, and then suddenly, in the space of four or five games, I think he went on a seven-game losing run, and then it was catch-up time, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, we went through a bad patch, uh, you know, and then and then and then and then we won. Uh, Miro got hurt, and, and it made it even tougher. Then Miro came back, and, and we you know what? I think we won four out of six, and we put ourselves right back in the battle for the playoffs. Uh, you know, Miro got hurt again, and we never won. We we haven't won. A, we didn't win a game since. You know, so you know, you know, it's it's it's, it's goaltending is a is a tough position. Uh, Poor Tom got thrown right into the deep end. Uh, he got demoralized. He lost his confidence. You know, and when the goalie loses his confidence, so is the team. And, you know, we just struggled from that, you know, when, when, when uh, you know, for the last seven games due to, you know, the goalie having a lack of confidence, uh, the players having a lack of confidence in the goalie, and, and, and that's the way sport goes. Okay, right. Well, we, I think we've touched from uh, September all the way through to March there. Uh, one final question to you. Pick out a high, pick out a low. Well, I think the high of the year, you know what, there was many. 
Uh, the two shutout victories in Nottingham. The overtime victory in Coventry. The last ditch effort in, in, in Edinburgh to, to, to win the game, you know, shorthanded with 40 seconds left in the game to put us in the semifinal of the Cup. Uh, the low of the year was going into Manchester, knowing if we won the game, we would have been ahead of Newcastle and conceding four goals in the third period and losing the game. That, that, and from, from that point on, the team was totally demoralized and they never recovered. There we are then. I think we've just about covered the season in microcosm there. And, uh, well, let's do it all again, Rick, next time round, eh? Yeah, around the world again we go. Will we make the same mistakes? I hope not.